I'll be showing you step by step how to hide certain payment methods on your Shopify store. Now you may want to do so based on zip code, country, address, product tag, or so on. And I'll be showing you a completely free Shopify app and how to set this up. You can really customize the payment methods shown on your store. So the app we'll be using is called ETP Sort Hide Payment Methods. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. But as of right now, it's completely free. So once you're on the app page here, click install and let's begin the installation sequence. If you're comfortable with the permissions, I'll click install again, and this will open up the app. I'll first pin this on the left-hand side, making it easy to access later, but it's gonna give us some pre-built templates. In this video though, I'm just gonna start from scratch here to show you a few of the options. So I'll hit get started. First up, we get to customize some general settings. I'll make this active, and for the customization name, I'll just call this cart over $100. And I want this to work always, and that's not going to be the case as I want to set certain conditions. In terms of best practices, it recommends using conditions to define different scenarios and subconditions to define when the conditions are within the overall condition, as this can create conflicts. So we can see here condition number one and then the ability to add a subcondition. So let's just go through this in practice here. I'll set the cart total amount. To note, there are quite a few customization options such as country, product tag, collection, currency code, order weight, and so on. So it's really just going to depend on what you're looking for. I'll set the cart total amount is greater than or is, and I'm going to set this to 100. Now I do get the option to add a sub condition, but I'm okay with just the overall condition right here. Next up at the bottom, I can set the customization action. So this is what I want the app to do when the overall condition is met. So I'm going to select show only a specific payment method, which name is and this is going to depend on yours. I'll just call this COD for now, as there actually aren't any payment methods set up for this demo store. You could also do multiple actions. You can really just chain them together here, but for now I'll stick with just the one action. And when I'm comfortable with all of these conditions, I can hit save on the top here. I can see it's now changed to active. And if I go back to the dashboard here for the app, I can see my existing customizations. And to note, it's not gonna work on draft orders and you can only have five customizations at once. And so overall, that's how we set up. Shopify store owners need to know where every dollar they spend is going. And that's where our sponsor of today's video comes in and it's Profit Calc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, letting you make smarter business decisions. It has tons of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can really understand your store's performance in a very concise and easy to understand manner. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold options. I'll leave a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. If you search for it in the Shopify app store as well, just look for this logo here and there's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. So make sure you check out the link in the description below and start your free 15 day trial. The ability to hide certain payment methods. There are quite a few different conditions and it's going to depend on exactly what you wanna do on your Shopify store. This concludes the video here. We used a completely free app and if this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.